Welcome back to Seeker Strength, and today's video is brought to you by, in honor of my 250 kilo squat, the Road to Near Squat program. It is eight weeks in length, two sessions per week. It has your squats and your assistance work for your squats that we think is very, very useful. Also included is an eight weeks maintenance phase. We've had people PB their squat from literally anywhere from 15 to up to 45 kilos. The average is typically around 25 kilos, and it is brutal, but effective. It'll get the job done as it has for thousands of people. So welcome to the first training vlog in my new shed. That's why it's season three, because it's, it's a, my third shed essentially. So it's the first shed, that which was originally just for hay and silage, and then I got changed into a garage, the same place, but technically it was a new shed. So this is season three. Uh, still fine tuning the platform for some aspects. I'm just really paranoid about the noise. So the vibration proofing works very well and is perfect for that, but the noise is something that I'm still, mm, I, I really want to not be that person. I really don't want to be that person with the super noisy activity for my neighbors. Um, moving on, so if you read my sub stack, so I recently started a sub stack, essentially it's a newsletter training blog where I'm just writing about my sessions, we write them every day, I will do so I'm currently doing is one free session a week and then it is five dollars for a month subscription to it uh, so it takes about 25 30 minutes a day to write it up and stuff so i hope people get a lot of value to my warm-ups every single session or most sessions i'm doing why i'm doing stuff and you will have seen if you read my sub stack that i've started a new training block so i finished off the last weightlifting block as you know i uh, started with basically uh, 90 kilo snatches I think I'd done. I'd come off a long down period and I'd done no clean and jerks because I exploded a tendon in my pinky. So I started essentially with no clean and jerks for three months, no front squats, uh, minimal squatting, I think once every two weeks and some snatching because I just enjoyed snatching. So we got up to 143, 170. Uh, due to my strength numbers not being where they needed to be, and the nature of weightlifting blocks typically taking about four months before you have to take a some of a break i changed to a i think it's time for a little bit of a break i'm going to push my strength numbers up because they're not as good as what they could be uh, typically i'm cleaning jerking around 65 or 70 ish percent from 65 percent of my best clean and jerk or my clean and jerk at that time period and so when i was clean jerk 190 i was definitely able to do at least 280 or 285 and at the moment just today's you'll see from this vlog where i hit 250 it is just not strong enough uh, i clawed back a lot again quite quickly you know in the space of maybe three and a half four months i'm quite happy with the progress but it was apparent i think towards the end where i could have kept pushing for 150 185 but i would just be hamstringing myself when i would not have been able to hit all time pbs are very unlikely Whereas I still feel great at the moment. I don't feel super fatigued. Nothing is particularly sore, a little bit sore, but just general weight of thing. So I'm going to switch to some strength and power production. So I'm going to push my squat and my pull for a few weeks, which will give me a nice break from weightlifting. And then I'm also going to do a jiu-jitsu competition. So I'm going to do about four sessions of jiu-jitsu because I'm, I do have that option for the next couple of weeks while I'm pushing my squat and my deadlift. So you'll see here 220. You'll see Fitz walking around the office as gentle as a gazelle or not a gazelle, a bull. Uh, so here's 230, so he's moving quite well. Uh, because I'm building back up my squat, I'm mostly doing waves, so heavy single and then dropping back down. Uh, the calf is still bothering me a little bit, but I think I'm getting a handle on it and figuring out what the issue is. Well, I'm not going as fast as I would like on these squats, but feeling very, very confident. They are quite light off my shoulder and I can feel them. Uh, I'm quite happy with them. So today I was expecting somewhere in the region of two, I was like 230 to be a solid day. I knew I could do 240. There's 240 and the clip fell off. It is, uh, I was just being lazy with the loading. So 240 was good, moved a little slower than I wanted because I was afraid all the plates were gonna come crashing down. And then the bad boy 25s, the strength shops, which actually weigh 50 kilos each, I believe. We're hitting new 250. Bar feels a lot better with much less whip. And so nice and tidy. I would like to speed up the descent a little bit, but I'm still cautious of the calf. Either way, plus 10 kilos on the squat. Very happy with that. Nice squat. It'll do for now. Not enough, but for now it'll do. Then we moved on to the deadlift. 
So I, I'm, some of you may remember I was talking about my pull was quite weak at the start of this block. And then for the last couple of weeks, I didn't push it as much because I was doing a lot of snatch, clean and jerk. And it was going quite well. But I think that back strength needs to be higher if I look at what my best clean jerks looked like when my pull was highest. And it was not what it is at the moment. So here's 220. I'm doing them barefoot just because I really like doing barefoot. Still sweep me back off the floor, move my knees back. Not like a conventional deadlift, but a clean deadlift. And here is, we're hitting up 230. So 230 looks fine in this. The positions are good, but it felt horrendous. Typically I'm around the one to one or a little bit higher. Even on my clean deadlift, I'll deadlift a little bit more than my squat sometimes if I use the straps. So this is not good enough. So I will be pushing this for the next couple of weeks while taking a moderate break from weight of things. So I'll just be snatching clean jerking like once or twice a week. Certainly not an off season, not like a downtime like I took from kind of October to March of the end of last year and this year. This is a transitionary period is an intentional break in training from the intense loading and it is still productive because I need to push my squat and my deadlift and thankfully and because I really like Jiu Jitsu I'm gonna do a Jiu Jitsu competition near the end of this so I will be doing pushing that squat pushing the deadlift uh, I will be doing a lot of Jiu Jitsu about four to five sessions depending on how much I can do and I'll also be doing some plyometric training which I know a lot of you will be interested in so I will be hitting up the plyometric training I'll be documenting those sessions. It'll be useful for you guys because I haven't done much plyometric training in the last few months. So I will be going kind of in that bare bones basic way of plyometrics and building up slightly. And then maybe, maybe I might have a new coach. Uh, we'll talk about that more later. If you can guess who the coach is, I would be very impressed. But I might have a new coach towards the end of this because for a couple of reasons. And we'll talk about that at a different time. But for today... Enjoy the 250 squat and for the algorithm comment, try and guess who you think my new coach is. Uh, I'll be interested to see if anyone does guess it. I won't tell you if you do guess it, but I'm interested to see.